Hi everyone, welcome to Clara's Feng Shui Cafe. In today's video, I will talk about Xuan Guan or the house's hallway. Xuan Guan or the hallway is a pathway that connects the front door to other rooms. In Feng Shui, it connects Qi from outside to the house. The Qi that enters the house can directly affect our house's Feng Shui. The hallway is very important because it's the area you see first when entering a front door. If the front door is like a person's mouth, the xuan guan or hallway is like the person's throat. If a person wants to stay healthy, then what you eat can affect your overall health. Similarly, if you want to have good feng shui in your house, then the energy that enters your house through the hallway can determine your house's overall fortune. When energy from outside enters the house through the main door and into your hallway, the items you place in the hallway can directly affect the energy flow and affect your wealth luck. If you encounter any financial problems, please check your feng shui of your xuan guan area or your hallway. So in this video, I will talk about the items we should not place in the hallway. Number one, do not place mirror in your hallway. A mirror should not be placed in the hallway. It would be worse if it's facing the front door. This is because the mirror has reflections it will bounce back any auspicious energy that is trying to enter the house. Because of the mirror, the god of wealth could not enter your house, and this would negatively affect your wealth luck. Number two, do not place a clock in your hallway. Do not place a clock anywhere in your hallway, because the clock in Chinese is pronounced as zhong, zhong, has the same pronunciation as the end. So, if you open the front door and see the clock in the hallway, it symbolizes that you stop moving forward, and this is detrimental to your career development and financial luck. Number three, there should not be a beam on the ceiling of the hallway. In feng shui, this type of layout is called heng liang ya ding, meaning Beam pressure on top of your head. The beam above your head can destroy the feng shui of your entrance hallway because it's pressuring against the auspicious energy that's trying to enter the house. As your wealth energy is suppressed by the beam, you could encounter financial burdens and negatively affect the family's fortune. Number four, do not place wind chimes in the hallway. Wind chimes should not be placed in the hallway because wind chimes are often used as a remedy to reduce the negative energy. It should not be placed in the hallway where positive energy enters, as this could negatively affect the health and wealth luck of the family. Number five, do not place plants with thorns in the hallway. For example, cactus. In feng shui study, plants with thorns can generate sharp energy or sha qi. If you place this type of plants in the hallway, it can negatively affect the health and money energy of people living in the house. Number six, do not place umbrellas in the hallway. Some people like to place umbrellas near the entrance hallway because it's convenient to grab umbrellas on rainy days. However, from feng shui perspective, umbrellas collect yin energy. So placing umbrellas in the hallway can lead to imbalance between yin and yang, as a result affecting your financial fortune. Number seven, do not place too many shoes in the hallway. A lot of families like to place shoes in the entrance hallway because it's convenient to change shoes near the entrance. However, shoes carry dirt from outside and can generate negative energy. In feng shui, wealth luck that enters the house from the front entrance could be destroyed by the negative energy. Therefore, shoes should be placed in a closed shoe cabinet. 
and not exposed outside of your entrance hallway. Number eight, do not place any sharp objects in the hallway. In feng shui, any sharp angles or corners can generate sha qi or attacking energy. If there are sharp corners of furniture or wall edges pointing towards the front door in the hallway, it can destroy the wealth energy entering the house. Number nine, do not place any large or heavy objects in the hallway. Don't place any objects that are too big or too heavy in the hallway, such as a large aquarium, a large painting, sculpture, or plants. The size is relative to the size of your hallway. Large and heavy objects create pressure and it's adverse to the wealth lock. And finally, do not use dark colors to decorate your hallway. This is because dark colors belong to yin energy. If there are too much yin energy, this would cause imbalance between yin and yang. And this is adverse to the money energy. I hope you find my video helpful. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you like personalized feng shui consultation, please visit my website, clarazfengshuicafe.com.